Okay, let's prove that the 265 over 153 is the square root of 3 and that it comes is and that, that ratio is part of the basic of pi c. So we'll start with a construction line. We're going to use Pythagorean theorem and uh, Euclid's elements proposition one, book one, creating a equilateral triangle. Euclid Proposition 1, Book 1, the Sika Pisces will create an equilateral triangle. We can also create a larger one from C down to that point over to E. But so if you draw a, draw a vesica and we're going to find the square root of 3, essentially proving that the ratio of the um, rhombus inside is 265. By 153. Um, now, what they mean by that? Now, the generally the claim is that if this is 153 wide, that these two points in ratio will be 265. Okay, so that, that's the claim we're going to test. 265 over 153 being the square root of 3. Uh, so first of all, let's go back to Euclid. Second point A, B and C. And we'll also put in a point G for geometry. We've already established that A, B, C creates an equilateral triangle. Sort of know that has to be true because the radius of the circle is A to B and it's also that distance. So we know all the sides are equal, therefore all the angles are equal, therefore it's a 60 degree triangle. And by creating this construction line, therefore we've cut it in half, creating 90 degrees, 60 degrees and 30 degrees, 30, 60, 90, 3, 6, 9, and since all of those are equal, and we've cut it in half here, we can now say that in ratio, this orange section is one half of the blue. So we can now label that as from G to B would be 1 and from C to, to B would be 2. Now we can go back to Pythagorean theorem A squared plus B squared is C squared the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the um, sum of uh, <laughs> the uh, square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the two remain to the sum of the square of the two remaining sides. So what, that's a, a complicated way of saying it. But a plus b plus c. C is the hypotenuse, which is uh, the long side. So the square, 2 squared, would be equal to these two added together. And we, so we know what 1 or A is 1 squared plus B squared equals 2 squared. So 1 plus B squared equals 4. So B squared equals 4 minus 1. Uh, so B squared equals the square equals 3. Therefore, B equals square root of 3. So that means that this green section is the square root of 3. Now, 1, 2, we can substitute 
that you can check it in your and calculator to be sure that that would be 153 the orange section this would be 309 and this would be 265 so the vesica Pisces is ratioed at the square root of 3 265 by 153 but I've by creating this triangle we've cut it into four sections but we've divided it uh, we've made it a scale of 1 to 2 so it does have the square root of 3 so I can prove it uh, pretty easily everyone probably would have seen these uh, in a standard drawing kit you'll basically get uh, a compass and these uh, two set squares. Um, probably don't really think too much about them and people who use them might not always get it but uh, what they are is an increase of amount. So we have two, both are 90 degree triangles and 90 degrees, 90 degree, 90 degrees, and this is our 45, 45 degree set square. Um, 45 plus 45 plus 90 is 180 degrees, and this is our 60. 30, 9, 3, 6, 9. And so, what's so special about them? Well, for one thing, this is an isos. This side, I'm going to highlight it. That side is equal to that side because the angles are equal. An isosceles triangle, so we can say that's one to one. Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The hypotenuse, the long edge opposite the right angle being c, so we know a and b, so it's one squared plus one squared equals c squared, so two equals c squared, therefore c equals square root of 2. Uh, in the previous episode, um, the 30, 60, 90 degree rectangle, essentially it's a one half of an equilateral triangle of 60, 60, 60. And we know that this length is 2 in proportion to the base being 1. So we have a 1 by 2 triangle. Again, Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We know that C, the hypotenuse is 2, and A is 1 squared plus the 1 plus B squared equals 4, therefore B squared is 4 minus 1, therefore B squared is 3, therefore B equals the square root of 3. This purple line the square root of three. So it's one half of an equilateral triangle. The proportions are one to two, one for the base, two the hypotenuse, but the square root of three. And 
also have the square root of 2 with our set squares. So 30, 60, 9, 45, 90, 45. Okay, so you've seen the tracing board, you'll be familiar with that one. Now, yeah. so just a the larger version. between everyday items that we take for granted. 